Okay, so I'm with John Laval, the CEO of Row 44, which is working on the next generation of Wi-Fi uh, enablement for, for travel, for planes. So we're on uh, his, his test plane, the Albatross. And John, walk us through a little bit what's on this plane and why you're using it for testing. Sure. Well, we use it uh, for testing because it is a, it's a great test bed uh, for customers and for, for our current customers and potential customers. And on top of the airplane is an antenna that is covered by a radome. You may have seen it when you came up. It looks like a little bump on top of the airplane. And here are all the um, what are called uh, LRU units that go above the ceiling tiles in a commercial uh, plane, like for example a Southwest 737. There's a server management unit. There's a modem data unit. There are WAP uh, points that are used to communicate the signal, the Wi-Fi signal. But basically, these are just all the constituent um, uh, uh, components that are needed to communicate with the uh, with the antenna, and the antenna in turn communicates with the satellite that's orbiting above the uh, the equator. So that is is that what's different about your company's technology in that from other Wi-Fi that we have on planes well, now? Well, the primary competitor, this is a, a satellite-based system. The primary competitor is an air-to-ground system, which is called GoGo, -Go, which you may have used on, on um, sure. some flights. And they communicate with a constellation of uh, Earth-ground stations, which are basically cell towers that have antennas that are pointing up to the plane. Okay. And our system works differently, obviously, because it's satellite-based. It can work over land or sea, whereas an air-to-ground system is confined to um, to land mass. So, if le if you're a content provider, which our readers are, why is this important? I mean, does this how, and how does this change sort of the experience for travelers and their ability to access content, movies, well, television I mean, shows? I'd say starting with TV, a satellite system is far superior because the air-to-ground system um, cannot handle the data throughput that is required with television. So we have a, um, it's just not a possible, it's not possible to have live television in an air-to-ground system. It's just too much a, data. Well, it's the throughput, it's the capacity, capacity of the system. It's a, it's a combination, it's a combination of two things, data throughput and the amount of spectrum that they've been allocated by the, by the FCC. We don't have that issue because we're dealing in a, in a satellite environment where we can shower the plane with much more in the way of throughput and can uh, handle um, television. Well, I have direct TV on planes now. Has That's direct broadcast. It's not, it's a different system. What you're talking about is, uh, for example, the JetBlue live TV system. Right. It's a direct broadcast system, which is different. It's live TV, but it's not using it's what our system is called IPTV or Internet Protocol television, it's much, much more efficient in terms of how um, the signal is broadcast. So and so in terms different. of what I'm able to watch as a traveler or as a content provider, how has that changed? The system is... I, well, the, because it's not unlike what DirecTV has, it's not unlike, it, it's, it's actually the exact same thing as what you're getting to a set-top box. You're getting canned programming, whereas we have the ability to work with our customers and go out and get program that's specifically tailored for what their customers would like to see. And so we can select, uh, you know, choose um, different programming uh, that would be uh, more consistent with what a particular airline would like their customers to see and mix and match. Whereas with a direct broadcast satellite, you're pretty much getting whatever the set-top box can receive at home. I see. Okay. And is this on airlines now? Is this is this a, coming in some months or? It's on Southwest Live Television. It's on almost. These are the Southwest ladies. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi, the ladies from Southwest. Hi. Yeah, it's okay, it's on, on Southwest now. It's on Southwest right now. And is it? And it's gonna. You expect it to be on other airlines? Yeah, I mean, it's being offered. That's one of the advantages of having satellite. We were, uh, we're offering it to all of our customers, but it was originally Southwest was the first to have it. Um, they have eight hot channels right now, including um, the NFL Red Zone, Major League Baseball, um, uh, NBC Sports, um, Fox, Fox Business. So the, and those are live, you can see live Those are live games. television channels. That's, yeah. that's, that's a big leap. Right. Very cool. Okay, we're looking forward to seeing this on the flight, too. Thank okay, you.
much better visual entertainment experience on a plane. Here's an example of the live television channels, uh, Fox News, Major League Baseball when it's in season, uh, CNBC, uh, Bloomberg, uh, MSNBC. These are these, most of these stations are live. There's CNBC. So you're looking at Jim Cramer right now on Mad Money on his uh, show every evening. Um, obviously, interviewing looks like he's interviewing the CEO of Regeneron. Uh, we'll go back and look at. Let's look at. Uh, is this, this is available. This is available now. Or this, this is, is available. available. This is available on all Southwest flights right now. Right now. They're installed on um, 400 aircraft and at least uh, an installation a day. Every day another plane gets outfitting at Southwest. So they're um, just like World War II, a ship a day coming off the assembly line. <laughs> Sometimes, many times, we have two or three planes a day being activated. But here's... Um, so are, are people using their iPads or are they generally using, using the screen that's on Southwest? Well, but here's the thing. Southwest has no seatbacks there. Um, uh, an economy carrier, so they're making use of the devices that people bring on the planes. I see, so this so, is, you have to stream this, you stream this on your own device. Yeah, you just, yeah, it's being broadcast to the plane, and you can take it off the, uh, the server on the plane, but they have no seatbacks, so you use your, your iPad, your iPhone, your smartphone to watch this. So here's Fox News, for example, another hot channel. Commercial it's right, commercial, it's commercial right now. Right you're now. It live. Yeah, you're watching it live. Um, yeah. And we have movies available to watch as well. Uh, that will be uh, Southwest uh, has all ball control over the pricing of their IPTV product, over their Wi-Fi, over their television. Those I was asking now. before, I can't log into my Netflix account and stream on. Um, you can right now on Southwest. Um, they are looking at since they they just rolled it out to their whole fleet. They're making decisions strategically about what you can stream and cannot stream right now. But at present, you are able to stream that. So. At, at present, you can. Yes, at present you can. Uh -huh. Okay. And right. here's a series of movies like X Men Origins. Right. You know, yeah. you can watch a movie. Um, movie will be teed up 20th century so you have um, this is just I think the important thing to understand here is we're in if you look at this is the southwest uh, portal you can see all the tabs you can have Wi-Fi you can do a flight tracker right. you can do a destination guide entertainment which is the tab we're in right now right. can I get on the web obviously yes you can um, uh, uh, deals, shopping and destination deals. So there's a variety of things that you can do while you're flying. Southwest, as I said, has rolled this out to the entire fleet. So you can look at the Wi-Fi product, and you can look at the um, different pricing that they have. And again, I wouldn't read too much into this right now because the way it's being priced right now is it's, it's just $5. These are things that we're experimenting with on this aircraft, but again, Southwest determines what the pricing is, and right now they're doing it um, essentially for $5. So.